Nowadays, we are experiencing an energy transition based on renewable resources. In the past, a central power plant used to generate energy for everyone. But now, we can generate this energy locally, using, for instance, solar panels or windmills. In this new energy paradigm, there is a new key player, the prosumer, who is a consumer that uses, for instance, solar panels to cover part of his or her energy demands, that stores energy in batteries for moments of scarcity, and in addition, can exchange energy with utility grid, not only buying, but selling. Interesting, right? But now let's expand this prosumer concept within a so-called local energy community. In these communities, the prosumers can cooperatively exchange energy with other prosumers in order to cover their energy needs. So now they have a common goal, to reduce the total energy procurement cost for the community. I see these kind of collectives as an orchestra where each musician represents a prosumer. And the achievement of the goal depends on the effective coordination of its members. In my research, I'm studying mathematical algorithms to optimize and coordinate the operation of these communities during the day. I was able to define a mathematical model that represents the components, interactions between prosumers and with the external grid. Then, I specifically applied consensus algorithms. In this approach, the prosumers are autonomous in identifying their cost-optimal decisions based on forecasting of energy generation and consumption. Only those actions that affect the other members, such as the internal exchanges of energy, have to be mutually agreed on. In this case, the information that each prosumer shares within the community is limited, so we are preserving autonomy and privacy. Then, based on several simulations, I found that each one of the prosumers was able to identify their cost-optimal decisions regarding when to charge and discharge batteries, the exchanges of energy with other prosumers and with the external utility grid. As a result, I confirm that this approach effectively minimizes the total energy procurement cost for the community and with an economic benefit for each one of its members. There is no doubt that we still, we still have to work out technical and socioeconomic aspects for the establishment of these communities. However, with the obtained results, we are on the right path to encourage users to confirm these collectives and to encourage authorities to define a regulatory framework that supports implementation of these ideas based on cooperation, common welfare, and sustainability. Thanks. <laughs>